Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Homestead, Episode 3, Into the Woods. Its engine noise is rather uh, uh, underwhelming. Did we uh, grab all the food out of the... Uh... I did not. So then down the Horty Lane. It does look like uh, currently finding uh, or heading to the location is going to be the win. Cool. But that could change. All if you need me. You're good. Just grabbing the world's least healthy calories. No, understandable. I grabbed some chips and that's about it. Is that me in this game? Huh? <laughs> it looked like me, the long beard. <laughs> Next vote idea, big, big viper or pizza? I don't know, man. Oh, I have a friendship bracelet for you, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's how you complete this game right there. I'm also going to check durability on this wood axe. Okay, I'm glad I did. This wood axe is almost dead. Here, I have something for you. I think you know what it is. This makes me happy. Don't know where mine is, though. I have found one yet. I need to murder enough people. Here, you know what? I got you something else. Uh, help me it's with the same door. Good. I want to top up my canteen, but the thing is locked. Back beyond a guest. Yeah. I am probably, if we can, head back to the um, place to get a new axe. Yeah, head back to the factory and load up our trunks full of stuff that we're going to want if we're going to head to our home. Yeah, yeah, it looks like head to the home is the winner here. Okay, sweet. So, grab gear from warehouse. There you go. And head home. What was I it? I went ahead and I threw it on the floor there. A gold nose stud? Yes. Okay, I will leave it there. Well, that's not very friendship-like. Well, not all that glitters is gold. But that was. Says you. <laughs> You're right, I didn't test it. It could very well not be gold. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's get a lootin'. And then get a scootin'. Heck yeah. All right, so we'll head back to the uh, warehouse. We'll try to be as careful as possible. And then I'll have to pull up the map. <laughs> careful. You're I mean, a running guy. What I meant by careful is running over zombie corpses as I'm driving. I like where you parked it. Yeah, you know, there's a sign on the side that says free candy. Yeah. Uh, Running over zombies or really anything will damage your tires pretty badly. So you want to be very careful. Because if you pop two tires, your car stops moving. And then you die. When you get swarmed. <laughs> it's, just, it's like a, a labyrinth of zombie bodies. It's a, it's a, it's a driver's driving test. I think we did okay. slow down. Oh. I hit a zombie. Like a living one? No. A mostly dead one. Hey, That's there's the warehouse. Ah! Didn't realize you had slammed on the brakes. Slow stopped? Huh. 
All right, I'm just stopping here to start murdering. Oh, there's a crowd coming from the south. Hello. I'm gonna go pick up another wood axe. Copy. The inside. Got like a super chad looking cop over here. Tell him I didn't do it. It was him. <laughs> Dang, that's the opposite of what I said. This zombie just like what took a a nap over here? He's tired. I didn't realize you had yourself a uh, a little party over there. Oh, I, the party! I evicted them. Send them to go home, home for bad behavior. <laughs> they got a little go too handsy. There was nothing left. find the um the light switch to this thing yeah it was pretty dark in there there might be some uh some friend all right some i do have the metal workshop sticking that in the uh one of the, the van. trucks all right yeah we'll definitely need that eventually nothing says a hard day's work like a smoking that's it that's the end I found the light switch. Uh, did, a, did a zombie just sit Thank down you, over here? Sure. And that was a zero hit. Popped him with a pickaxe and he said, no thank you, sir. No thank you at all. I'm going to start taking stuff that we might need. <laughs> Is it just me or does Trustin seem like the type of guy that would say, thanks for coming to my TED talk after finishing off a horde? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Oh, that was good stuff. That's exactly you. If not me, then who? Someone has to say thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. All right, let's open the duffel and just start taking stuff. I wonder what my annotated map says. It has almost no information. That's Maybe we act perfect. on it. It's for Maldra, so it, it could be interesting to follow up. Uh, I am going to start... Dismantling boxes to gain access to nested stuff. Gotcha. I'm taking screws, nails, anything I can find, some metal sheets and stuff. Yeah, we're going to want a lot of nails. Mm-hmm. Welding rods, propane torches. Absolutely. And everything else I'll just throw on the ground. Treats for the dogs? All right. I tell you what, I will put on the dog cam and give the treats for the dogs while I'm going through this stuff. If anything happens, I'll switch back over. Colt's like, treats? He's like, I know where that treat jar is.
No rush, you stuff Yoda too. That's uh, that's important. That's an important part of being a viewer is making sure the dogs are fed. <laughs> Completely and utterly agree. Yeah. Is the ground out of space. Oh, that's all stuff already on the ground. Just kidding. Lol. So what are we, what are the big ticket items that we're looking for? I would say weapons and just any building material stuff. Well, we only really need a saw or two. Um, and then axes to cut them down. Yeah, we're definitely going to need axes. Uh, uh, and we also might want to take some buckets. No, we have a well, right? Yeah. So gardening stuff. Seeds. There was a box up top that had like a ton of seeds in it. Uh, sort of behind the metal shelves. All right, I'll be over there in just a second. Mm -hmm. I can always grab it because I know where it is. You can live it for me. All right. So the bottom row, I am stripping up boxes so I can full search. Totally understand that. You thought Margo was a mini pig? No, nah, she's just a baby corgi. Mini pig, jeez. What'd you say? It's rude calling her piglet. I mean. She's very food motivated right now. Let's just say that. All right. I just found a bunch of the seeds. Cool. Food made of motivated dogs, at least, are like really easy to uh, yeah. train. Yeah. Super easy to train. Man. It is really tricky to figure out how to uh, disassemble stuff in like the isometric view because I can't tell where stuff is. Yeah, it's like in somewhere in front of me. <laughs> I, I just I'm like arbitrarily bashing down crates, hoping that they're the correct ones. Like you do. Yeah, I do. I do understand. Okay, that was hey, a really good Thank lady you. jumped up on the futon and like immediately fell off and was like, okay, I'm done and just walked out. She didn't want anyone to see her. Uh... Right. It was it was one of those things where you trip and then start running. You're like, oh, I meant to do that. Are you guys running with me? <laughs> Nothing like dogs getting embarrassed. That's 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 lady for you. A tool belt. Wait, do I have a tool belt and a holster? Uh, you might have a tool belt and a holster. I don't have a tool belt. Yeah, I have a tool belt and holster on. That's pretty awesome. I'm also grabbing all the wood glue. So that when I level up in carpentry, I can... Uh, I yeah, I'm Greg... I'm grabbing all that as well. Uh, yeah, the dogs will come and go as they please. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna lock them in or anything like that. They, they have full reign of the house. Yeah, Colt's still here underneath my chair. That's where he lays. You can't turn your camera. I wish you could, because that's what. That's the trouble I'm having is I can't see. Uh, 
You know what? I'm gonna take a hammer as a secondary, just just to have a secondary. Yeah, it's good to have a hammer in your belt loop anyway, in case you need to make a quick escape with like a sheet rope ladder or something. Yeah, true that. It's a really powerful secondary for the ability to bail out windows if you have sheet rope. Uh, so I'm working on the middle row. All right. Trying to gain access to the the center ones that are nested. Hoping gotcha. for something I, special. We can hope. We can hope. I just um grabbed the tire pump. Oh, I already have one. I mean, I guess both cars could have one. That wouldn't be a terrible idea, but... Just letting you know that yeah. I already, already grepped one of those. Gotcha. Yes, the uh, the objective is still to have a tree fort. Yes. I mean, I, I don't know about tree fort, but yeah. Uh, if you're not building a tree fort in the middle of the woods, what are you really doing? I guess all houses are tree houses because they're made of trees. This is You're not wrong. How's the stream been so far? Less PC melting? Uh, it's... My PC is good, but it's been the stream has been weird. The um, we just run into some really odd stuff. What we Grab need more is propane like torches. Yeah, X Files music to play when things get weird. You know, I've been I've been looking into uh, some stuff. We'll talk if you'd like, but uh, I've been looking into some some funny stuff like that to just add. Got more protein torches? Yeah. I, yeah, I think I'm very surprised how calm it is right now. Don't jinx it. <laughs> I think I've grabbed all the propane torches I could. Oh, a uh, fresh wood X in the nest. Oh, heck yeah. And a fresh crowbar. What? What? The what? <laughs> What was that? Stapling <laughs> that was my, someone? That was my nail gun. I just racked my nail gun. Um, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep it on me or you or use it rather. But uh, don't point that at me. I, you can apparently have a nail gun. I wonder how ineffective it is as a weapon. I I don't know. Turn on friendly fire? Heck no. Oh, a hand X. Oh, heck yeah. And I'll go upstairs and start looting up there. All right. I think I've gotten through all of the nested loot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bum, bum, bum. And I don't have a lot of perishables. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to do a lot of scavenging and stuff when we get over there. But that means we're going to have to clear out the forest of zombies. This is burning all the ground. Is fire enabled in this run? I think we had it turned off because of uh, some peculiarness with it's the way... It's spreading infinitely? Yeah, it just doesn't stop spreading. Murdering everything in its path? All really good oh. reasons to keep it off. All right, I think this is through. This is a three-story. Yes, it's a very nice, very nice ride. Um, it's a check your car's radio. We don't have um, emergency channel yet. Okay. Oh, 1032. 
1032. I'll tune my car radio to it right now. Cool. It's just the first preset in the radio of the distillery. Beautiful. Yep. So I'll bring the um I'll bring the portable radio so that we Fair enough. Can use it. You hope that we have fire on because we're setting up in a forest, it's gonna be lit. <laughs> Are you ready to roll? Uh yeah, I've I've taken as much as I can. I've looked through so much stuff. Okay. But yeah, we could start we could start rolling out. Um Take another hammer, because why not? Do you know the... Do you know the way? Uh... I know a way, but... It depends on... You know... Oh, we gotta roll. My... Right. Engine is started. 200 decibel engine... Uh, is that wood axe dropped over here broken? Yes. Okay. I do have spare hand and wood axes in my, uh, in my van as well. Oh, Beautiful. Good. Shotgun. Alright, I am, uh, behind you. Yep, just go very slow. So yep. I may turn down one of these roads and then have to book it. So basically, we drive down here until the road not dirt road but actual road turns right and we take okay. that right oh yeah that's down the logging area yeah towards that. mccoy but then you, if you take your first left and then your next right uh that that's the path there are wooded ways to get there but given our population i it's driving through safe. the woods is just like suicide the fact that we aren't trailing anything is awesome though because yeah i could not turn around in that cop car uh, or no, that never happened. But if it, if it I don't had. know what you're talking about, Darnell. It's crazy talk. <laughs> After three hours on the road, finally, dude, this has been. If this hasn't been an action-packed zomboid game, I don't Hold know on. what is. For obvious reasons, this one has to die. Is that in the maid outfit? Beautiful. I feel bad. I don't. My house was never fully clean. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, wow. Why <laughs> wow, not gonna touch that one? Justification it's for murdering your maid. Isn't that left, what maids do? I mean, left house dirty. Left house dirty. One star Yelp review. When you're murdering her, it's oh okay, yeah, so we do we do we do. This is where we need to take a right. Okay. Sorry, I know the, the wake is gross. I mean, the thing is, like... It's not bad. It's not as bad as it could have been. Yeah. What would be super nice is if the freaking fog would go away. The FF, you know? Freaking fogs. Yep. Don't like it. Drive this until it wraps around right, and just keep driving. And we keep going until morning? Yep. I'm going pretty slow, so... You're Don't good. ram me, bro! You're good. And, uh... I apologize to my chat. I don't read chat while I'm driving in Zomboid. I have died so many times because of that. Same with mine. I glance, but... For the longevity of this attempt nothing more than a glance so here is the left intersection and we're going straight still okay we basically drive straight until there's a large clearing on the right and then we take that right trying to find exactly what the turnoff is going to be pretty sketch but uh getting there to that turnoff will be okay all right i'm still going pretty slow yeah it is um clearing is out clear and yeah I'm, there aren't too many up this way now but i don't want to floor it because that's nope nope 
That's asking for trouble. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we do have it urban based. But the thing is with our setting, with, with our setup, is that we will have to go into town to survive. So, uh, for necessities and stuff. So we establish. Why is it still so hot out? Here we go. Oh, gotta zoom in. Got You're fine. Chunky. Um. So trying to figure out where, when we go right is the is going to be the the struggle. Yeah. Nor by trust, especially be... in the fog. Well, the fog will go away in about two hours. Is it possible to zoom here? I'm taking we're going left. Okay. Seeing if we can zoom out enough to see what's on the other side of these trees. Because that will I don't I don't think we can see it. So that would have been a pretty good indicator. Leaving some sort of a road marker for ourselves will be we helpful. could I could chop down a tree and just leave a log where we need to turn. Yeah, once we find it, we, we can even put, like, a road sign or something. Yeah. I think the best way to do it is to drive straight until it starts to turn wrap, and then double back. To actually overshoot it and not worry about it. I think that sounds good. Because then we're... Yeah. I think that'll be easier. There we go. Fog's starting to lift, too. This fan's like, I hate you. <laughs> My truck's doing okay. I mean, it's not... It's not terrible. Yes, Fog. Be gone! I'm pulling up the map right now. It's okay. a haul, man. Yeah. I don't think we've... I think we're still on course. Uh, well, I did see back a bit ways. I did see the uh, the road. And it's... Uh... Sorry, th this van does not go fast. It's all good. You want me to go up until I see it to turn? Sure. And then that'll... Because I think we're, like, really close to it. Mm-hmm. Also, why am I still wet? Sweaty. <laughs> turn on the cooling mechanism. All right, I see where the dirt patch is on the road here. No, nope, that's not. That's a different dirt patch. No, nope, this is it. So this is the turn. This is going to be the turn up here. All right. Going to be going to be a heck of a midnight turn, uh, midnight snack run. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is the turn here. So I'm coming back. Uh, You'll see my parked van. It's my approximation. I may may or may not be correct. All right. So I'm looking at the map pretty close, and there's a green sh patch of uh, of land that I'm going to try to work off of. So that's the patch I'm coming up to. So I think you're right. I think it's right here. Because that's the end of the patch of grass. No? I'm just going to poke around and start filling out the uh, the mini-map until... Because it's, it's also pretty deep into the woods. 
it's not yeah. uh we'll have to go kind of far it's gonna be just a lot of touch and go This is sketchy AF. <laughs> yes, it is. I will not deny that. Just a little bit. Oh, man. Adios, Abby. So if you have the turn highlighted on your map, you have a another point of reference that I don't. Mm -hmm. Does it look correct to you? Yeah, it, it should be around this area here. Uh, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head southwest a bit while you're heading northeast. Pulse is racing for just watching? Yeah. <laughs> Going through a wall. God, it's hot out. There is actually a cabin in the woods with a well, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, it's hot out. I'm sweaty. Oh man, it is, uh, it's not easy to find. It's not, I'm in an opening. I think we've gone too deep. Too deep? I think so too. Whose idea was this? Right once. I'm to blame. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actually, you know what? I take that back. It was also the wheel of fate because yeah. we took all of our d ideas and just put it on a random wheel. And this is the one that got picked. Shouldn't there be some kind of dirt road to it? Nope. I don't I don't know. No, I've never been out. To there that. is not. Definitely not a dirt road to it. Once we find it once, we'll be able to find it again. You know, because it will be mapped. I think what I need to do is I need to go north and check the farm fields that are northwest of it as a point, another point of reference. Another point of reference, And then it'll yeah. be really easy to find. Yeah, because if we were to go back out to the opening there, and it's the two neighboring houses, it's directly, uh, directly southeast of the two neighboring houses where their property lines are. I f I'm on it. Found it? Yep. Oh, nice. And I'm walking to you. Walk this way. Talk this way. Ooh. And just as we get here, I'm probably going to need some food. <laughs> Comes with his own antique stove. Nice. So we'll be all right in the winter then. That's a single bed, so uh, I hope you're cuddly. You know it, Darnell. I mean, you've slept in my bed before. <laughs> you know what's really weird? No, no, huh. never mind. There's like a ham radio and a regular radio. 
I can't turn off the regular radio. There we go. Disassemble. It is, oh, there's a lot of books in here. Metalwork, Mechanic Beginner, Cooking Beginner. Nice. Box of Nails, another, three radios in this place. Well, this is now officially Radio Shack. Hey, yo. All right, And an outhouse. This is, this is our new house. Welcome. So I'm already ruining our pooper here. I apologize for that. You pooping in it? No, the door's locked. I don't know why there'd be a door locked with no one inside. It's kind of not how locks work on a house, but you and know. And suddenly a zombie pops out. Uh. Wait, I just dismantled the heck. Did I just disma I dismantled like the roof of the thing, <laughs> the door frame, but not the door. I don't know. I'm magic, dude. Um, what do we do? Do we try to cut cut a swath to drive here? Maybe you should start lumberjacking towards the road. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think we should pull the people. We should pull the people. Build a perimeter. What do we do? Build security. Um, I think it would be really... I mean, now that we're here, we could make an effort to try to unload the vehicles, but I think given the quantity that we have, uh, you know... So I got uh, secure the area, hack a driveway, start a farm. Uh, do we have a sledge? We do not. Uh, I'm going to put lumberjack driveway. Got it. Uh, so we secure the area, start a farm and lumberjack a driveway. I feel like those are the most important things at the moment. I am dismantling things that don't make sense. Well, it's okay. Makes, I have yeah. I have ruined the walls of our shack. We're no, really only here right. for the uh, the well, anyway. Yeah, dismantling has gone weird. Uh, Awry. Yeah, something like that. Very strange. Let's see what what's your people think we should do. We shall take a look. See, I'm gonna let this go for a few minutes because right now we've got uh, secure the area and lumberjack. A driveway is pretty close. Cool. Unknown mushrooms. In case you're hungry. I already have some of those. <laughs> Those poor hippies don't have any food left. We got some unknown wild mushrooms. Gotta take off some clothes. Yeah, I, I already stripped a lot of my clothes off because I was getting way too hot. Clearly the glasses, socks, and underwear need to go first. You know, the really insulating stuff. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Things are about ready to get magical up in here. You know it. Plenty of food. Don't need a farm right now. Lumber getting fried building materials. Start a second story and bypass need of a perimeter. That's valid points. It does look like Lumberjack Driveway is going to be the winner here. All right. I uh, I don't have the material to... Uh, I'm going to need to go back to the car. Okay. I do have an axe. Yeah. If you want to get started just to the northwest, go for it. Yeah. And I will grab... I'll start from the other end or something. I think what's probably best is if we bring the lumber... Oh, did it tie up at the end? I'm sorry. All right, let's do a flash. 
Uh, we'll do a 30 second flash poll. Hey, in. Roku. Thank you. I did not see that tie up, but I am still going to start lumberjacking. We'll want the wood anyway. Yeah. What I what I really need is a you know carpentry books. Yeah. To make more bang for my buck. Uh, pick up two axes while you're up there. I can come up there. Yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just... Oh, uh, I probably won't be able to move your truck, but... Yeah, what I'm trying to do is just to get the vehicles parallel. Okay, I'll run. I'll walk up there as well. <laughs> you have no choice then? Alright, lumberjacking your driveway is... Landsliding. Got it. I think turning on the urban population versus the rural was a very good idea. Yes. Like, could you imagine coming out here and just having hordes of zombies in the woods like chasing us right now? It'd be a bit bad. Very bad. Yes, I found my own twigs. What? Come on. Game. Don't be clowning. Nice. I see what you did there. Yarp. That's approximately the right spot, I'd say. Okay. Yeah, no, that's pretty solid. For flannel. We weren't too far off for the uh, the location of the car. Not yeah, terrible. No, oh, I so I was going by that patch of grass that's in the middle because it's on the map, but um, it extends a bit further than I thought it did. Will that increase forging XP, dropping and finding again? I don't think so. I don't know. That's something to test. <laughs> oh, I don't what? Pick up unknown. Oh, more wild mushrooms. Yeah, I we're have gonna, a bunch too. We're going to eat like kings, man. Living off the land. Well, the problem is we don't know which are poisonous, if any are. Like, I don't know. I'm assuming mushrooms are like berries. But you know what they say about assuming? Don't do it. Well, all, all mushrooms are edible. Some are only edible once. <laughs> that is a, a fair statement there. There's also the, um, the, like, murder hotel that's uh, northwest of us that we could head up. Yeah. So, we're driveway-ing? Yep. That's the, the vote. The votes are in, my friend. The votes are in. Oh, where'd that... What was in my hand? Ugh. All right, we're just going to get super sweaty in the woods together. Man, and you're offering that for free? I know. Normally, I charge 300 pineapples. So I think just leave the logs, and yeah. once we empty out the trunks, we can come by and hoover them. Yeah. I think you're better at cutting these than I am. Uh, much better. I am a lumberjack. But I'm dressed like one, so... Are you saying that someone wearing a mining helmet isn't suitable to chop trees? Yes. No, I'm My... wearing flannel in real life. Oh, I am not. It's, it's like freaking 85 degrees here, all right? I'm not judging. How will I keep the keep it from being overrun? Uh, periodic maintenance or a lot of flooring? Probably periodic maintenance. Wow, my lungs are on fire. As are mine. But oddly, it's not too much effort to uh, cut a path. Yeah, I, I thought I might, it would be a lot longer than this. I might um, sit and read a bit, though, because... By all means. I was born this way. 
as Lady Gaga would say. 300 pineapples and 93 would be a small fortune? Yeah, it would. It's also a small fortune on the great high seas of thieves. Of course, the trees get super thick at this point. Yeah. That's okay. We'll make it. Uh. Yeah? I thought I saw a tree wiggle. Did anybody else on chat see that? Or was that just me? Paranoia, paranoia. <laughs> And you know all about ninja zombies. They're scary, man. Legit. Look how look at your lungs. Yeah, I've been I've been ridiculously exhausted for quite a while. Thanks, Black Wolf, for the follow. Welcome. Dude, this is so much wood. I should have put in the 75% uh, wood reduction weight because of how much we're going to have to haul. Mm, I mean, we toss the logs in the trunk, make a few runs, a few dozen runs. Maybe I just, sh good. just shoot a gun and they'll come out. Nah, we're good. No, thanks. I will pass. But yeah, I think I think uh, a good next step after we offload our stuff would be to go to a to find some some carpentry books for me. Yes, I don't know. Whatever you want for you, maybe farming and something. farming and then scrapping. If there's uh, well, just to know how to make stuff for scrapping. Yeah, yeah, metalworking. I'm I'm resting the old lungs here, but we're about halfway. Okay, I was going to check the map. My path looks like a drunk man's road. I'm saving a couple trees for him, man. I can't cut all the trees. Good God, here it gets thick. Look how many trees you can see. Wall. Yeah. Yep. All right, I think I'm going to take a breather after this one, too. Should be gaining axe skill, possibly, with this, hopefully. Level five. I'm going to do one more just to see. Oh, I don't gain axe nope. skill? What a... What a load. Let me have a... Let me smoke a cigarette while I relax. <laughs> Yeah, this wall. Yeah, you saw how many there are? It's massive. <laughs> Toss a log in the trunk sounds dirty. It, <laughs> it, it does. And um, it is going to be dirty. The amount of termites that are going to be up in my trunk. Exactly, man. Yep, yep. Time for a light. We give these these lungs the extra mile while we relax. Good times, guys. Do you have any extra food on you? I do. I might need some in a soon. In a soon. Down trees. I was hoping for a two tree, or a uh, two tree. I was hoping for a uh, two car driveway, but uh, I'll settle. Mm. Settle for I'll settle one with for the now. one. Yeah. Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Homestead, which originally streamed live on Twitch with Trustin, April twenty seventh. If you have any feedback or questions for us, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and count on timers to upcoming streams. If you're wondering what Trustin's socials are, the links can be found in the description. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.